Hello, everyone. I just want to miss you. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of intro is that? <laughs> Listen, that is not the way. I don't oh know who God. I'm sitting next to. Anyway, um, hello, Loyalists. My name is Blaine. My name is Jazz. Good morning, Jazz. Today we have for you <laughs> Venom movie review. Um, and also, if you guys have reaction requests, please subscribe to the channel for more reviews and more reaction requests. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're going to talk about the Venom movie. We saw Tom it Hardy's Thursday. Venom. We saw it Thursday, Thursday night. Thursday night. Uh, it starts off with um, a CEO, you know, typical evil CEO, mm -hmm. going out in space and bringing a uh, bring comment, bringing back a comment. They brought back specimens to planet Earth. Something goes bad in the ship. Mm -hmm. It crash lands. Of course. In and Malaysia. Those, if, yeah, it Malaysia? crash landed in Malaysia, and then two of the specimens got away. Yep. But uh, they had, they were doing they one were of testing. them. No, only one of them got away. One. One sure. of them got, well, one got away. It was only one, and that was the riot symbiote. There's only sure. one got, yeah, one was destroyed, I think, and then um, one would got definitely got away. Okay, I was gonna say I could have sworn two got away. Well, two eventually get away. I don't know, well, but yeah, that was Riot, and yeah. Riot was like you know the big leader and everything of them that yeah. got out, and then the other ones that were left in there was of course the Venom that we know, mm -hmm. and then two other ones. Yep. And they were doing experiments because they want to have these uh, what is it, the symbiotes. Like form with the human host, yeah. That's so the that CEO they did. could live on another planet or whatever, live in our space. Yeah, they said they basically the CEO is like, oh, the planet you're using, you're eating up all the resources and stuff. Mm -hmm. and Saying that humans are a virus. Yeah, parasites to the planet, and that mm -hmm. we need to uh, be able to when this planet, we take all the resources of this planet, go to the next planet, and be able to you know live. So you use a symbiote and humans to create like a hybrid, yeah, and stuff like that. So basically, and then we go to Tom Hardy, and Tom Hardy is with his girlfriend, and basically, and he's Eddie Brock, a reporter. he's a reporter. Yeah, he and so reported he likes, on that that dude, the CEO, yeah. and found out that he was doing like uh, fraud stuff and everything like that, and like doing human trials and all of this stuff that he wasn't supposed to be doing. Yep, and he found that and by going on his girlfriend's computer, he typed in that password. And her confidential files. Oh. And then ended up getting her fired too. And so exactly. when she got so fired, she was like, Oh, I don't love you anymore. So it took her and ring so off. Took her ring off. They broke up. And they broke up. So it was just bad. He lost his job. She lost her job. He lost his girlfriend. He lost his house. He, but her, well, well, his house. house was in her house, yeah. but then he got into the apartment. Away. And that's what we fast, so. we fast forward six months. Mm -hmm. And he's living, he's living an okay life. He gets hard for him to get jobs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He has overdue bills. Um, so he's just really, you know, he goes to this, it shows this scene where, you know, the, the uh, grandma, the little Asian lady, mm -hmm. she's getting like called up at gunpoint because I yeah. guess they get like a security fee. And so he, she That's just a, a big fancy way of saying, give me your money. Right. Right now. And so he it. saw that, but he didn't help her. And then he knows this homeless lady on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they have like little interactions. Um, and then you find, then, um, then they show the trials. They start, they had this rabbit in the symbiote. Form with, form the, with rabbit. the rabbit perfectly, and then yeah. the CEO was like, "All right, we're gonna go straight to human trials." And they're like, "Hold on!" And they're like, "We need to chill out because, right, because it doesn't work for everybody." Yeah, you have all to these find animals. A perfect match. Yeah, and you don't know until they go in there, so right. everyone's not gonna be a success. And he said, "Let's just do human trials. Forget it. You do it. Shut up." And that's <laughs> basically yep, how he was. Much. So then it was like you know, um, getting homeless people off the street, mm -hmm. and then she uh, they did like a trial on one of these guys, and he ended up dying. Yeah, instantly. Instantly, and um, she was like, "Oh my god!" That's when she was like, "Oh my god, we can't be doing this." Mm -hmm. So she hit up Eddie Brock to try to uh, basically you know uncover and what expose they what they're doing, and then he meets, and then uh, Tom Hardy meets Eddie Brock meets one of the homeless ladies that he interacts with, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh my God. She's like, can you get me out of here? Blah, and then blah. he broke her out, and then she attacked him, yep. and when she attacked him, the symbiote that was in her, which was Venom, transferred into him, uh -huh. and he was a perfect, perfect match. Because for her, she was inside that cell, and he had to like freeze it or something like that. Yeah, it was very hot or something with like that. With ice. Somebody else's in there is with, with like heat, but hers was like ice. Right. And so he went into to, to, um, Eddie, mm -hmm. and um, then that's when they formed, and he started running and was, because the security thing was going off right. and everything, he started running, and Venom was kind of like controlling his body yep. to move him and get him away because move if him. he, because if Eddie dies, Venom dies, so he's right. not trying to have that happen. Right. So. And so they had the, the whole chase, a little, little bitty chase scene, mm -hmm. and he ends up going back home, and then he's like, and then you could hear Venom, Venom like, voice. voice. He's like, food. He's like, food. He's, he's like, like, who the hell? And so he's just like, going in, eating tater tots, 
going in his trash can, eating, eating trash, old food, eating old stuff, it up and yeah. stuff like that. So, and then he uh, ends up going to his ex-girlfriend's house and she's mm -hmm. she's with a, uh, a, a new, new, man, boy, a new yeah. man and then she, he finds her and was like, trying to give her the phone, telling him to expose because he took pictures of what was going on. Uh -huh. And um, he was just going crazy. And he was, he's like, and Venom's like, food, eat, yeah. ooh, delicious. And it's just like, he's like, and he's he wants to like crazy. eat he's people like, and like right. just live things. Cause right. they like to eat like live animals. Cause they're like dead, like steak or whatever. He's like, that's dead. Yeah. That is dead. You right. not have dead food. Right. And so he went like, for the lobster that was alive and ate his head off and everything right. like that. And then went into like the fish tank. And I thought, I love the aspect of uh, Venom and Eddie. It was pretty mm -hmm. good. I, I, that's when it was like, oh yeah, I, I love the movie. The sarcasm. And it was that when it like weird. move away from them, it was like, oh, brought it back down. Yeah. But when it's them, when it's Venom and Eddie on the screen, it is a, I say it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. Um, the tone though, the tone of the movie would throw you off sometimes. Yeah, the tone. It was it was like a little bit of awkward moments in the movie. I'm not gonna lie. Like like whoever they casted as the wife or the girlfriend of Eddie, I did not feel like they were a real couple. Like yeah. I was just like, okay, so you get fired and then all of a sudden because you get fired, that's when you just break off everything. You just find a new man and everything. Like, well, I guess I'm she felt like, portrayed. But still, like it's like their dynamic wasn't like, Their dynamic super, wasn't you know, super, you know, like, yeah. meshing with me. Like it just was like, okay. But you know, bye. yeah. Like, bye. <laughs> like, you know. It so, was just like everybody else was kind of boring compared to but compared to them to too. Venom, Venom and, and, and Eddie. That's what he came for. So, uh, but then he, uh, they take him to um, a hospital because their her new boyfriend now is a doctor. Mm -hmm. He's getting MRIs, and the MRIs and the sound, sound, are, waves. sound and fire are the symbiote's weakness. Yeah, so the sound waves was hurting him and, and stuff so like he that. He turned it on. He started freaking out, and you could see it like kind of phasing out of him. And he was right. like, "No, turn it off. Turn it off." So he can't know, do that. Yep. Yeah, so he ended up going home, and then when that, when he goes home. They found out that the uh, the little doctor lady it was the one that actually you know brought him in and stuff like that, and now they're going to be sending his people over there to go get the symbiote. And yeah, which means get him because yep. it's attached inside of yep, him. Yep, so kill him and take the symbiote. So, back. so then you go into the fight scene when he's like, mm -hmm. you know, Venom is like talking to him and like hitting people out the window and yep. like, ducking, don't open that door. And right, he's just like, he said, what the he hell? Said, don't open the door. He was like, what? And he so like, he opened it and then they came in. And that's and when he started, started fighting, fighting and everything. And so that's when it gets really good. And then mm -hmm. he gets into a chase scene and he's like crashing through. He was um, moving cars out the way. Right, he's crashing through people's house. Yeah. Moving cars out the way, had a nice little chase scene when he, and then, um, they ended up, uh, you know, the long chase scene ended up crashing, in, uh, one of the cars ended up crashing, um, and then you should see Eddie's leg just bent. Oh, yeah. yeah was, like, Eddie got all broken, broken up and, and like everything, that. but because Venom is inside him, it healed it just, him. Yeah, it just straightened he out. straightened up all his bones. And then that's when you get to the scene, his eyes, pancreas. Yeah. Some snacks. And so, they're going to the henchmen, shoot shotgun the other dude and he just he eats turned him. around and he ate his, his head, head off. but of course it's pg-13 which you couldn't see all the blood and all this stuff so it's kind of like they did like a jump cut it was kind of right. like you saw the teeth coming to get him and then black and like he's dead which i thought they should have did an a, a r rated should, movie he should have it was the tone of the movie would have probably been even, even better better um the fight scenes would have been even better too, oh yes able to see actual blood exactly. and actual like fighting and everything exactly. like that like because because pg-13 you can only do slight stuff you right know? so you can't really do everything rated r yeah and they, it makes so. it kind of awkward you like he just did he just eat somebody and they just pretend like it just, you just assume that yeah like it's yeah. like it's like you don't, you, see, no, you don't see no residue on the right ground. it's just like he bent <laughs> yeah it's like no blood like, like that's it's just, it. okay so then um he's like he's talking to venom he's like man you just can't be eating people and stuff like that it's like you eat only like Bad people. Bad people. You know, like, how do you know? It's like a feeling and all that stuff. So then um, he goes to like his, uh, where he used to work at mm -hmm. and tries to deliver like the expose. It's on his phone. He tries to go up there deliver it. Then the police come and then there's another fight scene with the police. Yeah. And he was just up. eating all of them up. Well, he didn't eat them. He didn't them. eat them. But up. like, he, he ate, didn't he eat one? He was going to eat one of them. And then oh, yeah. his girlfriend He was going came. to eat one. And then he transformed into that big venom into like a little dude. And she was like, what the hell? Yeah, so she saw him transform and she was like, wait, she saw him transform from big venom to Eddie. And she was like, oh no. And she was yeah. trying to get away. And he was and trying to explain. He was like, wait, wait, wait. Like, I got a parasite. Like, I got a parasite. And then she was like, like, you need to go to the hospital or right. everything like and that. And he was like, you need to get an MRI. And then like, no MRI. Yeah, and he was so, like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I don't need that. And she was like, so he's talking to you. And he was right. like, yeah, he is all the time. So do not do that. <laughs> So then um, they go, they end up going to the hospital 
and um, they're telling him they're looking at his like his like his log mm -hmm. of like what's going on. And he's like the uh, like, symbiote killing is you. killing them, and he's like the venom's like no. He's like no, I, I can fix it. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> Zach, so, I can fix your heart. You don't need anything. Yeah, <laughs> and then he like turns into the venom arm and starts choking the doctor mm -hmm. out, and then they use the MRI, trap him in a room, but he gets out, and then the uh, CEO's people get Eddie, mm -hmm. bring him back, and but Eddie doesn't have the venom in him. Right, and then at that same time. Riot was making his way from Malaysia all the way to San Francisco, mm -hmm. uh, going in different people. They had a scene where he, you know, he's to go to the leader of the company. Yeah, and early in the movie, they have the scene where he's like Riot. They're showing off the symbiote's power. Riot, mm -hmm. um, like spikes. He had then he had like two made two big claws and like killed yeah, a whole bunch kill of people. people. And then transforms this old lady. Old lady goes to uh, this airport, transfers into his little young girl, mm -hmm. and then the girl. Ends up in San Francisco, <laughs> and and then transfers into the CEO person. Yeah, and so the CEO talk, they're talking to each other like, yeah, we're going to my plant, going to my planet, so I can bring back more symbiotes. And you know, mm -hmm. they're just like they mm -hmm. basically wanted to take over the world. They wanted, so to, eat, yeah. wanted to take over and Earth. Earth and eat those people. Yeah, yeah. and eat people. Yeah. And Venom. He was like, you know, like we're me and you, Eddie, are the same because we're both losers. He said, "Where well, I it's on my planet, I'm a loser, and you're a loser here too." So we're right. kind of like, you know, we're made for each other. And then he was like, "I was gonna go with Riot and everything mm -hmm. like that and take over this planet, but because I like you, right, I'm not gonna do that anymore." Right. He was like, "You changed my perspective. Right. Like I like this place." So and I'm I didn't know how I felt it. about that part because I'm like, you really, they didn't really do punch. They did a lot of fighting. Yeah, like I'm that. like, you didn't, I, I guess Venom in this movie, he was just like, oh, I'm bonding with this dude. Yeah, he's a good and match. He, he did like, say he's a, a good Yeah, match. he was he's like, you're the most perfect match for me. He was right. like, I like you, so I'm not going to destroy the planet. Right, and so, so they're about to kill the, they finally caught him, they brought him to the woods, and they're about to shoot him. Mm -hmm. The main henchman is about to shoot him, and then you see Shiva. Mm -hmm. His girlfriend got the symbiote suit. And he's like, yo, you, you know, Tom Hardy's down there. Like, Eddie Brock's like, yo, you know, I don't want to do that. And he's talking, right. he's talking his trash. And then she comes in and eats the dude's head off. But then, then again, you don't see. You don't see it because it's PG-13. Right. So you can't see that part. And she transfers Venom back over to Eddie by kissing him. Uh -huh. And at this point, they're broken up. And so he's like, what's that kiss about? She's like, oh, nothing. I was just trying to give, you trying to give him way. back. Whatever. But yeah, so then you see the CEO dude is like trying to get a rocket and mm -hmm. um, blast off into space so they can go back to his planet. Mm -hmm. And so Venom and him are fighting a riot, and it's a, I think that was a pretty yeah, good Yeah, because Riot said that, like, you know, Venom betrayed him. Yeah. Saying, like, oh, you're a betrayer. Like, you betrayed us because they were supposed to have that one plan right. to, like, since they came here, take it over. But now Venom doesn't want to do that. So, right. of course, they fight and everything like that. And they both have the uh, the weakness of the sound waves and, and everything. So, the girlfriend turned up the sound waves for the rocket ship and everything. And the whole the whole site. The thrusters, and, uh, yeah. I think the main yeah, thing and made up. Riot come out. Right, and, and both of them actually. Both of them both come, them out. come out. And then and that's when Eddie and the CEO are just fighting, just right. hand to hand at that point. At that point, and then the bride, the bride gets back on the CEO and mm -hmm. does a lethal stab through Eddie. Mm -hmm. But then Venom attaches back on Eddie, taking the thing out and healing him as well. Mm -hmm. And he, he like uses the same little detachment. It was like a hand sword. Yeah. And puts it down the thrusters engine and makes it blow up. And with then, right inside, right inside. Right so one of their weakness, inside. yeah, is fire. So they both are dead. Mm -hmm. And then like uh, he creates like a parachute for Eddie while they're falling down to the sea, and the fire is eating it up. Mm -hmm. And so Eddie's like, you know, you know, so that means Venom is gone. No, no, right. I mean, Riot is definitely dead, but yeah. I'm saying when they fall, they were falling down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Then you know. Yeah, because he was Venom saying was goodbye, gone. Eddie. Yeah, and goodbye, stuff Eddie. Like that. But then, he basically saved them. But then in the end, it shows that. He yeah, didn't he had a anywhere. conversation with his girlfriend. Still with Venom was still right. inside of She was like, what? And he was like, oh, nothing. Yeah, because the girlfriend just, thought that he was gone. Yeah, and then he said, and then you hear something like, you go, she doesn't know, like, she doesn't know she's going to be ours. Right. And shit like that. And, she, and he was like, no, shut up. Yeah. Like, and she was like, who are you talking to? And he was I'm like, like no, nothing, never mind, I'm going away. And she's away. like, you? Is he? He's like, no, 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 no. And then, it, um... He's like, I'm gonna get some food, and they go some get some food, and then you mm -hmm. see Stanley. Yeah, Stanley's cameo come there. Of course, I was, was wondering. Oh, I was wondering if it's gonna come there. Like he has not popped up in right. this movie not once, and he pops up at the end, which yeah. I've never seen happen. Before. Right, usually like in the mid middle through or something like that. So he's walking the dog. And he's like, ooh, the dog looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And um, so and then they end up going. Then you go back to the scene where um the old lady they're late at night and they're getting food and stuff like yeah. that. And the old lady um comes like you know like the dude comes with a gun and was like um. You know, give me, you know, it's time and to pay up again. You said it in the trailer. So and he, this time, yeah. he said, you're gonna be deterred. 
in the wind. Like, yeah. And then he ends up actually eating him. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I think it just ends like that. It ends there. So, like, what you saw in the in the trailer is what happened at the very end yep. of the movie. Now, after spoiler alert, post credit. <laughs> this is where we were like, this is where, um, where we kind of. I don't know. All right. So, as y'all know, there's the character Carnage, who is worse. <laughs> Way than worse than Venom, right? Okay, Carnage is a serial killer, okay? Yeah, Cletus psychopath. Cassidy, okay? Yep. So, Cletus Cassidy is a serial killer. So, Eddie Brock's a reporter. So, he went to that Rikers, prison, right? yeah, Rikers, yeah. to go and interview, interview um, said that said killer, Cletus Cassidy, which is different because Guess they met in jail. They met in jail. In the, in they the still comedy. are meeting in jail. I mean, they're they meeting in jail, but I mean, it was cellmates. Yeah. So like, you know, but uh, anyway, so there was Cletus Cassidy there, and he said some type of words. He said some sentence, and then he said, like, oh, the world is going to know carnage. And by the way, before I said that, this man looked up, because all you saw was red hair, red yeah. curly hair, as he's supposed he's like, to have. Oh. And then you see him reveal his face, and it is freaking Woody Harrelson. Woody freaking Harrelson as Cletus Cassidy with a wig, with a red, overly curly wig. Oh, now I love Woody. I love Woody. I love Woody. I loved him in this How You See Me. And Zombie Land. I loved him in Zombie Land. Not for Carnage. I don't. I don't know. It's hard. Right. It's, I don't know. He might surprise us when they. He do. might, but, but I, I, I like always see him as like a funny been, type of yeah. you know, comedian. Like, come on. I can't like, see I just can't him see as him. a serial killer. Right. I cannot. So when he so when he was in the scene, it just I just felt a little awkward. Because it wasn't like, showing his face until he said, you know, like the this words, and then he had blood. You know, like blood. Yeah, he like welcome Eddie in blood with his own blood in the cell. Yeah. Like they put him. They didn't even put him in a cell. They put him in a cage. And I guess like a little by box, himself. And, yeah. A box cage inside right. of a big room. And stuff right. Like that. So, uh, you know. So, we, I don't know. If they we could, saw that. I was like, like I know oh, this man is not playing carnage. carnage. I was like, oh, well, he my might do a good job. We don't know. I just felt like have like a fresh new face exactly play him Carnage. so that nobody has these presumptions of exactly. like what he it will turn out to be do. you know right like so so that, that was happened. I was like okay um, so we're probably gonna get a Carnage movie Venom vs Carnage for uh, you know Venom two. 2 and then um, they had another post uh, scene um, with uh, the Spider Verse Spider Verse into so into the Spider Verse like, it gave us like a sneak peek like it gave us like a section of the movie that you could see and at this time almost everybody left out of the movie, the movie theater. theater. It was maybe, a lot, yeah, a lot maybe of like else, 10 yeah. of us left yeah. that saw that, mm -hmm. but it was like showing a full sneak peek into, into the Spider-Verse, mm -hmm. and it was very informative. Yeah. So, if you guys watch the movie, well, we already spoiled it for you, but so stay spoiler. The end. Spoiler alert. <laughs> stay all the way to the end. Stay until you can't see nothing else, okay? Until that screen is completely black, don't leave. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that was the Venom review. I know we did a, a long, with you know, it's always it's long. Always we, we always do it. We always do it so I'm ready. I'm excited to see what they do. I wonder what they're gonna do with Spider-Man. Um, to what is it? Far away from home or, or something like that? Uh, yeah, away yeah. from home. Away from home far or something. Away. like that. I don't know. Some home. home. Okay. <laughs> is a homecoming far away from home? Right. Close to home. <laughs> Finally home. <laughs> home alone. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was playing at home alone. Like, alright, but um, yeah. yeah, anyway, uh, guys, please comment below. Tell what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.